Hello, I'm Sabino Hasanova with the latest news in English on Azvision TV. The President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, today visited the country's city of Sumgayet. The head of state first laid flowers at the statue of national leader Heydar Aliyev in the city center. President Aliyev viewed the construction and renovation work carried out in the city. The head of state then attended an event to mark the 17th anniversary of the city. Addressing the event, the president praised the ongoing development processes in Sumgayet. In the end, President Aliyev gave relevant instructions. The first vice president of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Mehriban Aliyeva, is on an official visit to the Russian Federation. The first vice president of Azerbaijan today visited the tomb of the unknown soldier in the Alexander Garden in Moscow and laid a rest at the eternal flame. During the visit, Mehriban Aliyeva will hold a meeting with the Prime Minister of Russia, Dmitry Medvedev, to discuss prospects of cooperation between the two countries in various areas. Over the past 24 hours, the Armenian armed forces have violated a ceasefire along the contact line between Azerbaijan and Armenian troops 23 times using heavy machine guns, reports the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan. A dispute arose between Azerbaijan and Armenian MPs at a plenary meeting of the General Assembly of the Organization of the Black Sea Economic Cooperation in Bulgaria. Azerbaijan MP Aydan Mirzazadeh sharply reacted to his Armenian colleagues' remarks on holding of democratic elections in occupied Karabakh. There is no Artsakh. There are Azerbaijan territories occupied by Armenia. The Armenian armed forces are illegally deployed in these territories. Armenia grossly violates international law and pursues a policy of deceiving the international community. The newly appointed ambassador of Israel to Azerbaijan, George Deek, arrived in Baku, informed the Embassy of Israel. He will replace Dan Staff, who had led the Israeli diplomatic mission in Azerbaijan since August of 2015. The new ambassador previously worked in various positions in Israeli diplomatic missions abroad. In the meantime, the Embassy of Slovakia in Baku will open on the 28th of November. Miroslav Lajcik, OSCE chairperson in office, Minister of Foreign and European Affairs of Slovakia, is expected to attend the opening ceremony of the embassy. The relations between Russia and Azerbaijan stand at a very high level, said Valentino Matvienko, chairperson of the Federation Council of Russia. Matvienko noted Russia is keen to further expand cooperation with Azerbaijan in many areas, including economic, science and culture. Azerbaijan is one of the most dynamically developing countries in the post-Soviet space. The macroeconomic stability is secured and new jobs were created in the country. All this was achieved thanks to the reforms carried out under the leadership of President Ilham Aliyev. And that was all for today from Azvision TV. Our next update will be tomorrow. Thank you for your attention.